तो सुख दुखे भजनती है तर परे चा पूर्व कर्म ही तो इन शॉर्ट द कर्म द सिचुएशंस कम इन अवर लाइफ अंडर दिस थ्री कैटेगरीज स्वेच्छा देन अनिच्छा एंड द थर्ड वन इज परेच्छा एंड ऑल ऑफ देम आर बिकॉज ऑफ आवर ओन अर्लियर वे ऑफ लाइफ therefore this prarabdha karma is meant for telling us for everything that happens in our life we are 100% responsible nobody is responsible for anything that happens in our life anything by this what will happen we will stop blaming the world or others second thing if you are little uh, deep thinker then you will come to know that if i have done something in the last life but in the last life this body was not there when i have done something i must be there in other body yes very good now here i am doing something good or bad and to enjoy or suffer in the next life i will have to but in the next life also this body is not there correct then what is the conclusion conclusion is i am continuous unbroken existence it is only in vedanta you are given this inquiry who or what is a jiva in yoga in sankhya in devotion in karma kanda jiva is not defined just accept blindly see so important my friends we have to learn this see when something is um unknown how do we start suppose some mathematical uh, question is there some data is given there are three um, buckets in three bucket there is milk in bucket 1 2 kg a liter 4 liter 6 liter milk fat percentage in first bucket 2% 3% 5% if that is mixed together what will be the average fat percentage in the collective sample how do we start why do you do like that leave it <laughs> i will do like that so we will say suppose the collective fat percentage will be x and then we submit the answer book if simply you write the collective fat percentage is x percent will you get any marks we have to establish the value of x is it not come back because of your last life you got married to this lady in this life and if you don't behave properly next life she will be again your wife then who are you you are jiva okay and you stop there now establish the value of jiva establish the value of x but all other paths except vedanta do not inquire into value of jiva so make it easy our way of understanding is easy man is brahman husband is jiva how a man becomes a husband through the limitations of the wife when the limitations are removed wife sets up goes away what happens to husband nothing to so husband is neither born nor dies how important it is in the same manner 
we are essentially divine but we become somebody because of body identification so if the wife dies there is no husband if there is no body identification there is no jiva only two steps on the spiritual path one is freedom from body identification and second is freedom from the notion that i am a jiva in the soul in the body no jiva is abhyakti manifestation it is not vyakti it is not individuality see like husband husband is not individuality any fool getting married to another fool is called as husband is it not phoolo mein bahar aa gaye but instead of taking the husband to be a common noun we take it as a proper noun so abhivyakti manifestation becomes the individuality and the samsara begins therefore the word in our language is jiva na there is no jiva there is only life and the life is not influenced by anything when we eat food there is a life when digest food there is life when excrete there is life it is not in the mouth it is the holy life in the stomach it is a digestive life and in the end it is a dirty life no the more we understand the purpose of this prarab the topic is to bring to our cognition that we have to become squarely responsible for every little thing that happens in our life and accept it cheerfully happily confidently then we have studied vedanta otherwise again the same thing ke 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 